Nation Banter with Tony Smith. Razor. Razor. And welcome back to the studio, friends. And we're joined in the studio with a good good old friend of mine, Keelan Dooley. How you doing, Keelan? Yeah, I'm grand. Yeah, singer-songwriter, well. friends. Singer-songwriter. Um, no guitar today, but it was too hot to bring in the guitar out, was it? Not really. It was just out of work, forgot clean about the guitar. Yeah. And I was sitting on my Facebook earlier, and I was like, oh, I was meant to get back to you about this, so... Although, listen, you, you know, you're always welcome to the studio, and... Uh, the next time you'd be in with a guitar, isn't that right? Yep. So how's, how's it going? Any gigs coming up? Or? Um, I think tomorrow night in Blaney's, I've been playing most nights in Blaney's and Thursday nights. Oh. And then Friday night in the Magnet, Saturday night maybe in Blaney's as well, downstairs, and then Sunday night in McSwiggins. Brilliant. Well, a big shout out to everybody around the city of Newry, in Blaney's, the bus centre, the library, everywhere. Um, so it's good to be back, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, and um, I have a few shout outs to do. The, the St. John Bosco Boxers. Give them guys a round, if you don't mind. Well done. Kim Tucker, European bronze medalist. Couldn't get any better than that. This club is going from from a height to an even bigger height. You know, they're, they're fabulous, aren't they? Yeah. That's actually, you met you at the boxing one night, didn't you? The yeah. Bellinis. Yeah. You know, but uh, definitely a big shout out to all the St. Uh, St. John Bosco Boxers. Terrific guys. Matthew T. Metzler, as usual in America, his mum, Kareem Cohen, uh, Christina Doyle, you in, the, in Russia, Moscow, Russia. So big shout out to everybody all around the world. And we've got one of Nuri's finest singer-songwriters in, in the, the studio today. So uh, any new material coming up, Keelan? Uh, I've just been working on the album, really. It's been a bit delayed. Oh. And then just working away at it. Because you're, 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 you're working in a mainstream job too. You yeah. Know? So we have a lot going on. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I've got two jobs, uh, and then so we just work work it around them. And then by the time you finish your two jobs, I suppose you you don't really want to start writing songs all over. You know. Yeah. Yeah, you need that bit of a break, don't you? Yeah, I need a good bit of a break, like. Yeah, but you you know, fair play to you, you made it into the studio today, and um, keen as mustard to come in for the band the show as usual, you know. <laughs> but the Bellini's gig now is going well for you. Yeah, it's just the live line should start up. Um, Jake, the events manager, he just came to me one day, it was well before, and he just said, oh, I have this new thing starting up in Blaney's Thursday nights. Well, I was just stopped for it, yeah, and then he just, just kept on getting us back. Brilliant. So it's not too bad. Like. Um, and what about the Magnet Centre then? Um, I don't even know what gig it's for. Don't know, we just... No, just... I was in at the other day. Because you've been in and out of the Magnet Centre, you're a member of it, aren't you? Uh, I've been there for four and a half years now. Wow. And so I'm in there, I was in there before I came in here just putting up back up the lights, just being tested. Yeah. So I'm in there now putting up the lights. Is that right? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to have to give a call into this Magnus Centre, you know, because um, my young daughter was involved in it there back in the day and uh, done a lot of singing and it's, it's a great resource for you, for the young people of the area, it isn't is, it? It is. It's one of the best places. For I mean, that's where, is that where you started off your music? I was playing well before that, but the Magnus sort of got me into the gigs, sort of. And, and then it gives you that more that bit of confidence yeah, it gave to me face a big boost of confidence. Like. To face crowds, you know, yeah. essentially. Yeah. Because as a musician, you have to face the crowd, don't you? Yeah, you do. Like, and I have to say, you deliver the goods. You know, your songs are fantastic. Um, so check them out. Check them out. Have you songs up? Any any music now up on the Facebook or? Uh, there's a load of videos on Facebook. Check them out. Check them out. Kale and Dooley, not right? Yeah. And uh, so. Uh, the Bellini's the Magnet, and then Bellini's again. Hopefully. I'm not too sure yet. And then McSwiggins on Sunday night. Oh. There's just new things starting up in McSwiggins, the stage. Oh. And then, so that's just live music every Sunday night. Very good. So big shout out to everybody in McSwiggins. My, my younger brother, Keelan, he goes, same, same name, Keelan, he's a, he's a, a frequenter of Max Wiggins. <laughs> when he's back, he's now living in Liverpool, but every time he comes back, he's straight to Max Wiggins, you know, he loves it. And um, through Connolly, big shout to, out to all the, all the boys and the staff and everything. Uh, so you're going all right then? Things are in the look up? Yeah, it's going well. And then hopefully, by summer comes, I'm playing a Pride this year again. So I'm confirmed for the Hill Street stage and McLennan Park stage. So like, hopefully that goes well. When, when is it now? It's the 30th of August. The end of August. Or 30th or 31st, yeah. I'm not too sure. But mm. And then it's great to play alongside Ryan Dolan. He's confirmed for it again this year. I played alongside him in Euphonic last year. And it's a, it's a big enough festival, is it? Yeah, it's going to be big this year. Like, yeah. Really well, a big, big shout out to the Rainbow Committee of Newry. 
Um, some of you guys have to come in for the banter and get you in for the banter for get the crack going, you know. Yeah. It, it, now I've, I've I've never been to one of them parades, one of the, one of the gay parade parades. I've never been because I've always been somewhere else. Or yeah. But I hear it's massive. My mother absolutely loves it. Yeah. Um, my sister and all, you know, they they love it. They say it's great day is crack. Yeah, it is like like last year it was brilliant. Yeah. The way it was put on though. No. Is that right? Yeah, it was really good, and especially the parade. Uh, the parade's supposed to be massive too, it isn't is. it? And then it's gathering a bit of steam every year, isn't it? You know, it's, it's getting bigger. Yeah, and then, just like, it's going to be a bit bigger this year with like the whole equality and all. It's going to be a lot bigger this year. And then, like, did you hear about the bakery down in Belfast? I did about the yeah, cake. I so mean, oh God, what? A, you know, it's, it's the outside world looking in to the politics of Northern Ireland, and it's shocking. You know, um, I'm, I'm not too long back from London. Even the English people cringe at the politics here, and yeah. it is complete. It needs. I think they need to get students into Stormont. They, they get. They need to get top grade students who can run, who can run government. Yeah, that's what I think they should do. Get the students in charge, not the old, not the oldest people who are still trapped in the, the, the historical days, which we don't want, you know. Yeah. What do you think of that? As a young fellow, what do you think of that? Uh, There's clever enough students out there. There is. Like, and they've got the modernistic ideas. They've got all the latest technology. That's who should be running the government. Yeah, especially like Dar Hughes, the Mariner now, 22. Is he the 24, sorry, or something? I don't know. I've, I've missed out on the politics. So. Yeah, like, especially to be that young and being the mayor of a city. So Dara Hughes is the... Is he the mayor? Dara, we want you in for the banter. Big razor. And congratulations on your, on your uh, mayorship. Very good. So it's a, it, that's what needs to be. The young yeah. people, the clever young people need to be in change, I think. Yeah, it's Need true. to be in charge, because they can make the changes that need to be made, you know. Um, and a big shout to Dion Jesse Miller for coming in yesterday. We're talking about fracking. Do you know anything about this fracking? What is it? Fracking. About the, the uh, companies drilling down in through the Earth's core to extract gas. Oh, yeah. So it's apparently it's a dangerous, very dangerous operation. Now, we're having a big protest and we're going up to storm it. August the 2nd, we're going up to storm it. And they're looking at musicians, funny enough. <laughs> so anybody that can play an instrument, she says, even a cup with a couple of peas in it, you know. Yeah. Make a shaker out of it. So, yeah. so what's what's in the pipeline now? Uh, I'm not too sure. So you want to get my education over with, right? First, go to uni, that sort of way. You've a lot. You've a lot going on going on in, in the minute, haven't you? Yeah, a lot. So it's just sorting yourself out and trying to get everything sorted, are you? Trying to make time for a social life, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's a social life, Bonjax, is it? Oh, it is. Like, cause like, well, two jobs for a start. Yeah. And then your, play, your social life is, is maybe when you're playing in the pubs, is it? More or less, yeah, because like, I like to have a few drinks when I'm playing, because like, that's the only really time when I'm not working. Yeah, they so do like, like to relax and stuff like yeah. that. It's like, yeah. But like, a gig for me, like me and Aidan, we play in Blaney, he plays Cajon and does harmonies. That's just a jamming session, me and him. It's just a bit of crack. Yeah, but it's good. It's a, yeah. it's a regular slot, isn't it? Hope so. I think so. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> well, hopefully, Jake down in Bellini's are regular slot. You know, you crack yourself. <laughs> you have to get them. And um, have you have you been any more gigs? Have been, you know, at different places. Have you been gigging in Warren Point or? Not really. Yeah. Like, it's just. Yeah, it's it's just due to the time. work. Whenever I have time, really. Yeah. Because like to me, I need the work because, because can't live off gigs. He's not at all. Especially around Ireland. No. Couldn't live off them, like. Not unless you're Garth Brooks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so five concerts. Garth has been cancelled. Five, five, count, five concerts cancelled. Yeah. You know, we'll get on to, maybe get on to the Aikens there so you can get a, a gig for yourself and <laughs> fill up these five gigs, you know. Yeah. But uh, I think it was handled pretty bad, that whole escapade, wasn't it? It was too late announced. Far too yeah. late. Like, announced in January. It's in July. Yeah. Whereas, like, say, like, the likes of One Direction, it was announced last year, and not a bother, could run it. But then again, Croke Park's only have, meant to have three gigs a year. Yeah, because because all the residents around there, and 
obviously there's no Garth Brooks fans or resident around Croke Park, you know, because they, they put the block on us straight away. And who knows, who knows, but it, I know it's a, it's a big loss to the Dublin economy, you know. Uh, I suppose, like... Bring him up to Newry and Moran Council, get him up to Newry and get the five gigs in Newry. So there's a challenge for you. How about that? <laughs> then again, like, it's their homes. You wouldn't like it if Garth Brooks was playing right beside your house. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't like it if he was playing out the front. Um, not, no, he's not my type of, he's not my type of music. I'm, I'm not into, the, into that type of music, yeah. you know. Don't get me wrong, the guy's gifted. He's a star in his own right. Um, when you pull gigs like that, like he does, you are a star, you know. Yeah. Uh, not necessarily down to my taste, but hey, you know yourself. Yeah, that's true. You know, uh, if you if you if you got a couple of his gigs, you'd be flying all together, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, it'd be good. Like, <laughs> so Garth, if you want to come over to Newry, get in touch with me here in the Banter Show. And we'll see can we swing a couple of get a couple of gigs through the Newry Moor and District Council. How's about that? <laughs> get him doing the magnet. He'd <laughs> <laughs> fit in well. <laughs> Will he pack it out, but? Know, this this got, is the question. We've got Weedas coming in October. Oh! So. Pretty getting big names there, aren't you? Yeah, Weedas will. Hopefully, it's good. Are there, any, are there any new upcoming bands out of the Magnet? Uh, I'm not too sure. I don't. You're sort of breezing and breeze out. I now, just do sort you? of like walk in, well, how's it going? And then just. Anything need, need done? Anything need done? <laughs> do it. Don't let people will be talking about. I'm just sitting there working away. Brilliant. So it's not too bad, like. But yeah, Wadis will be good. That's Connor McGinley's still down there, is he? Yeah, it? yeah. Big shout out to Connor. Want you back on the banter, Connor, for the crack. He's yeah. good laugh, Connor, isn't he? Yeah, he's good. Yeah, I just want to know too. Is there any upcoming comedy nights so you can keep me all posted there? But it's um, so it's great that the Magnus there. Yeah, it you is. know, and you're you're a pretty good guitar player, I have to say. Are you venturing into any different instruments, or have you uh, ventured? Piano, sort of. Oh, and the keys and piano. Drums, bass, them sort of things. Oh, well, you're a bit of, you do a bit of everything then. Yeah. But it's handy that for gig wise, isn't it? It's handy that as well for studio wise. You don't have to rely on anybody else. If you can do your own studio work then. Yeah. Uh, that that's pretty good. So, you can uh, you can do your own backing tracks for yourself. Yeah. And that's pretty good. That makes it. It makes it a lot easier for you going to play in pubs and then. Yeah, it but does. But you're actually, you're actually playing along to yourself, and it, which is good, I like that. Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather the acoustic vibe in the likes of pub. Yeah. Because I, I hate it when you walk into a pub and there's just this big band playing. You're trying to talk to someone, can't hear a word they're saying. And you're just... Yeah. Don't like that. You don't like it. And then the whole night's spent in the smoking area because you can't hear anything inside. <laughs> <laughs> you go out to the smoking area to talk. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, tell you what, that's where I met you, the smoking area in Bellini's. Yeah. Up on the back roof. It's, it's fantastic out there, isn't it? Yeah, it's lovely. Like and the views. View. The, the view's brilliant. Yeah. It's, uh, I like Bellini's. And a big shout out on the canal court, in case anything will fall out my hair. <laughs> I have to be very careful here in the Banda show. Uh, so it's going all right then for you? Yeah, it is. It's good. And uh, what about Granda? Yeah, it's reopening the club there. Is he? It was reopened last Tuesday or Monday or Tuesday night last week. Good man, Bernie. Keep that club going. Keep that club going. So it was reopened. It was all done up inside. Oh, so new stuff and. Yeah, new like all new walls, new floor. That's what keeps him young, isn't it? Yeah, it is. He like loves it. That's his life, isn't it? Yeah, he loves the boxing club. Actually, that's his life. Bernie, you're a star. You're an absolute star. And I'll have to get you into the Banta show some of these days. <laughs> you know, maybe you'll bring him in, Caelan, would you? Because <laughs> somebody's going to have to look after him. Are we surprised, is it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, always welcome. Always welcome. <laughs> like yourself. And previous guests are always welcome. Come back in for the banter, you know. And to people from Dublin, Cork, Limerick, anywhere in the south of Ireland, you're visiting Newry. Come in and tell us about your projects, Dale O'Sullivan, the actor. Come in and tell us about your, about your projects coming. So, um, and indeed, Matthew T. Metzler from Breaking Bad. So, if we can get Matthew in, we're flying. Who? Which one is he playing? He was playing Matt. Matt. In he's, got, Bad? he's got a fantastic haircut like me. Uh, which? Uh, go to, you'll see him on my Twitter page. I think, is he coming in? Well, he's on. He says if he had his passport, he'd be here now. So, there you go, Matthew. And his mum, Corrine, so a big shout out to Corrine <laughs> and all across the Great Lakes of America. Yeah. So it's all good. So, uh, so you've been doing the keys as well and on the backing tracks. And yeah, it's good. 
just rather like I like the vibe of like playing like the piano or something. Different like, vibe for you. It's a different vibe. Like you just feel the whereas playing guitar, but like with piano, we feel like a bit of adrenaline sort of thing. You can you can go faster maybe on a day. Not yet. even. It's just like the adrenaline of playing it. Just the just the different rush out of it. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's going to open up new doors for you, isn't it? Hopefully, yeah, be good. Are you are you doing a bit of the blues and you know fast stuff? A bit of everything, really. Good man, because he's tasty. You're tasty enough on the guitar. That little Martin guitar you have. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful, aren't they? I love it. Look. And they're they're well made, very well yeah. made. Yeah. Um, and a big shout out to Thomas Lieb and Sean Jones. The boys are on the world tour. Guitar greats. Fantastic. Yeah. I've been keeping an eye on them. I seen Sean Jones at the blues. He was at the blues. Yeah. yeah. I was down there with him and uh, he was in the Banter show, had him on the Banter. Best old crack with Sean, big <laughs> razor Sean. And he's great at the new reactions and everything, would you quit? <laughs> so he's a, he's a star and as I say, hopefully we'll be getting in contact with you again, Sean. And the next time you're over, pop in for the Banter, of course. Yeah, it's good to have all these uh, pretty big stars like Sean and that, you know. Yeah. And a uh, tasty guitar player, he's fabulous. A great yeah. singer-songwriter too. Like, good luck. Yeah. So it's it's good to keep in contact with all these people, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Like, and then just especially the blues. It's the one time of year when there's actually a music scene about here, like. And a big music scene at big that. Music scene, yeah. Yeah, and, and uh, I think Cobbles is going well on a, a Sunday. I haven't been big. Ian Sands. It's Ian Sands' birthday of the day too. Ian Sands. Ian Sands, happy birthday, brother. Hope all's well with you. And I'll have to get to see your Sunday show in the Cobbles. Is so that with the blues cats? That's well, and I think you know they, they want people to bring in instruments now, and you can have a jam. So apparently it's going pretty well, and uh, well, hopefully you get down now to see you some some of these Sundays in, and a big happy birthday, and a uh, James in as well, Lane's son, yeah. great lad, great oh, tasty great player, great player, yeah. great all rounder too. So um, yeah, I'll have to get the the guys back in again, you know. Yeah. And uh, I haven't heard any reports about Tanglewood, have you heard? Uh, I heard it was really good. A couple of my mates, a couple of them said they can't remember, a couple of them said it was brilliant. Usually if you can't remember it was a good yeah. time. <laughs> That's the way the Irish work, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, a big shout out to everybody involved in the Tanglewood. And I'm, I'm sorry I never got made it this year. I was say it was there last year, fabulous, some great acts, you know. Yeah, it was great last year. You were on it too, were you? Yeah, yeah last year we camped and... Crack was 90. Couldn't get Did you even get out of the tent? I don't know, it was like sort of in and out of the tent. Because I, I had a guitar with me, so... You were having your own gig then. <laughs> there was a tent gig on. I'll tell you, there was people never even left the tent, are you? Yeah. They just camped and, and that was it. They, they sat at their tents and... Yeah, the campsites... Uh, partied. Best crack as well, though. Oh, oh it's, I'm sure it is. It, yeah. it looked good, as I say. It was there last year and... Um, because you never know who you're going to meet at Tanglewood either. Yeah. I was walking along and then I met my, my good old friend Eric Bell from Thin Lizzy. And uh, with a couple of pints, with good crack. Bell's the last, Eric. And you know, that's what I'm saying. You never know yeah. who you're going to meet. So it's a, it's a brilliant. Uh, um, I assume Martin Mortar's going to get on to me. He had the rabbit hole yeah, stage. Yeah, it was really good. It was like a DJ tent. DJ tent, yeah. Uh, so I've yet to see. You know, many pictures come up. There's, I think Annika Tamink is putting pictures up, so I'll have to have another scan through the face he booked this evening, you know. Yeah. So what else is then going down now? You, are you at the driving yet or anything? I went from a test and about well, theory and gave up after the second time. It's just like... It's just That's just too much hassle, is it? Working. It's just the theory. I failed in like, the first time I failed in about four marks, second time I failed in one mark. Uh, is it what is it padlock type of thing? Is it multi choice? It's multiple choice, and uh, just read the highway code, and then hopefully I'm hoping to get it by the end of summer. I'm just going to go for it again sometime, and then hopefully get it. Yeah, because you're going to need it if you're especially for gigging ways. You yeah. know, you're going to be on the road at some stage in your life, aren't you? Hopefully, yeah. Uh, you know, and I can picture you with your either a car or a small van, it, all the gear in the back. <laughs> you know, which 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 has to be done. Which has to be done. You know, it'll come the time that you will have to get it. You know. Yeah, it will. Yeah, you'll be on the road. You'll be on the road. But the, it's like everything else. You've so much to do and not enough time to do it, haven't you? Yeah, true. Like. <laughs> but uh, it's always good, Keelan. Um, what about Dad? He's still working away. Uh, no, he had an accident there. Fuck no. Tore the tendon and some, so he's off for a while. 
and he didn't need it, not in his hands, because he works with his hands. Yeah. Oh, for God's sakes. Brenton, get well soon, <laughs> hopefully. Hmm. I was up with him not too long ago, and he's a great man restoring old cars and everything, isn't he? He's quality, he knows how to spray a car too. Yeah. Wow, I'm impressed with him. So, and we're, we're friends as many a day, me and him done an old tangle, I would buy him, he would buy me, <laughs> way back in the day, you know. Yeah. But, um, I'll get well soon there, Brenton, and, and, and get them hands working again, and sure he'll be back out in the garage in no time, won't he? Yeah, probably, but look. That's where he's happy, no, isn't he? No, he's still down there, he still goes down. Oh, does he? Yeah. <laughs> you can't keep him out of that garage. No. No, it's, it's, it's like you doing your music, that's yeah. his end, that's where he enjoys himself, you know. Yeah, like my ones are just sitting there, oh, I'm not sure you have work in the morning, you can't play a gig. <laughs> of course I can. <laughs> yeah, no, you're, 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 you're pretty good at what you do now, and you know it, you're, you, you actually, you're relaxed playing, aren't you? Yeah, very relaxed. Yeah, because the, the, the couple of times I had you in here, uh, when you did have the guitar, you're just so relaxed with the guitar, it's a natural feeling for you, isn't it? Yeah, it is very natural, just play away. Yeah, and um, Admir Moth's in here, big shout out to Patrick, another gay, lovely fella, and he's he's been in the band the show for a few times, and he seems to be even more relaxed. Yeah. You know, I think, uh, and that's in around a year ago, you know, from our, from our first had him on the show, so it's great to see all the young fellas coming out, and young girls too, there's a lot of Talent out there. Yeah, there is. You know, what's, what's, there must be upcoming talent in the Magnet Centre as well, is there? There's a few bands, but they, then again, like the bands, they get in an argument about something silly. Typical like bands, aren't that's they? That's what I've noticed in there as well, and then they just break up, but like, the way I look at it, you don't really have to like someone to be in a band with them. Like. Just get in and do the, do yeah. the music, and then, you know, you, as you say, you don't have to like them, just go in and do the music. Yeah. And, and get the job done, basically. Sure, I know that a few bands hate each other and they still play. Like, uh, my bloody Valentine. They all they don't talk to each other. <laughs> they just play. That's Razor, it. I love it. Yeah. And they're they're local band, aren't they? No, they're American. And yeah, they don't even talk to each other. They don't like. even talk. There was some crack on the tour bus there. Oh, no, it? sorry, bullet for my Valentine. That's it there. Oh, bullet for my Valentine. Yeah. I'd say the bullets were flying in the back of that van, mother. <laughs> Probably. <but laughs> <laughs> Uh, you never know, next up could be America for you. Hopefully. That, that's the big one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I was talking to a few Americans that were over there uh, from North Carolina. They were playing at Bellini's last Thursday night as well. They were over in an exchange. Oh. And they were just saying, get over. Just If you want to do it, do it. Because it's like, it's like um, singer-songwriter, a Dublin guy, Mark Geary. Yeah. And at Mark, big shout out, raise your Mark. I hope the tour's going well for you. He was in here in the band the show, great, hell of a guy. And he actually went, he went to New York with $20, $20 on He got his green card and he was lucky and he set off. And it's, it, I mean, he's been working in bars and nightclubs and everything else and pouring pints. And then he actually got his, he had a load of songs in his head and yeah. he started writing them. Got an old beat up guitar and away he set off. Now the guy's on his Irish tour. He's on his European tour now at the minute. Yeah. I had him in here. I went to his gig in the Spurs store in the dog. Fabulous night. Yeah. And it, it, was, it was different because he had a full band with him. Yeah. You know, and it was terrific. So big shout out to Mark Geary. But the likes of that guy would be a good inspiration for the likes of yourself there, yeah. you know. Well, be good. When you hear stories like that, that, you know, he went to. New York with twenty dollars, you know what I mean. And this is this is a while back, so you would need more than twenty dollars to go and survive in America. I know that yeah. much. Uh, but the guy's now now he's on his European tours. Just shows you, doesn't it? it does look. You have to put the hard work in, and the, but the good thing about you is you've got the you've already got your songs wrote out, haven't you? Yeah, I've got about. I've just been writing in my spare time. Just must be about 60, 70 songs now. Do you see that's that's albums now you have? Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean. It's, it's when you can break them up and put them into albums. Yeah. So that's that's the so you have already got a load of work done. Yeah. And it's sitting there, it just needs to be nurtured, basically, doesn't it? Yeah, it does like. But again, time, two jobs. Yeah. Isn't two it? Two jobs. Working around gigs. I think the only day I have free is Sunday and I spend it lying in bed. <laughs> Recovering from everything. Yeah. <laughs> and and probably worrying a bit about the the day the whole week is to start off all yeah. over again. 
Well, I have to say, there's our, our studio manager in now, and he's, did he, I like that saying, did you? Five. <laughs> so we've got five, five minutes. Um, no, but it's good, you keep working away, and as I say, try and get them 60 songs out. Yeah, because it's, well, like. well, it's well, it's you've done well to get writing sixty songs. Yeah. You know yourself. Today's bands even they haven't got that many songs wrote out. Yeah, you know the writer songs, do an album, go on tour, come back again. The whole process kicks off again. Yeah, you've already got your albums done before you even put the music out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but you, I think you're well capable of doing that anyway, aren't you? Hopefully. And you, and I have to say, friends, this man busks <laughs> on the Hill Street, don't you? Yeah. And you enjoy it. I love it. I love busking. Yeah. yeah. And the sound carries up and down, funny enough. I think it's, it's that Martin guitar, isn't it? Yeah, it's loud. Like, For all loud. the size, it's a small, compact touring guitar, but it, it puts the notes out. It does. Because like. of the, the build quality of it. They're yeah. fantastic, aren't they? Brilliant guitar. like. Mm. And it's always good to see you on Hill Street. And usually you have a pal with you or two, don't you? Usually I'll be like, give a text out, well, I want to go busking. Or just walk into the mag and just be like, here, I want to go busking. Do you want to make a favour? How? Just keep me company. <laughs> Grand. Because I don't like standing out there by myself and then when I say I like, just take a wee break. There's no one to talk to. Uh, like, that makes sense. That actually yeah. makes sense. You know, because there is buskers go go solo and it must be hard graft for them, you know? Yeah. And then, like, at least when there's someone there that you know, it just builds up your confidence a bit as well. Yeah. Because I'm, sh I'm sure there's nasty people out there that, or do you don't get the nasty comments, do you? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Hope not. <laughs> <laughs> or they could be, they were getting the touch of the Martin guitar over the back of the head. <laughs> 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 but uh, as long as you, as long as you know yourself, new strings, keep it fresh. Yeah. You know, but we definitely, I want to hear, I want to hear some of these new songs. I have to hear them. You know, there's yeah. no way out of this now, Caelan, you know. <laughs> you've, 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 you're in the studio a few times. Next time, definitely a few songs out of you. Is that all right? Yeah. For our viewers out there, our lovely viewers. Well, at the minute, we're only after getting the, uh, that scene. Our studio manager's <laughs> giving a big, the big smile there. And we've got a new man in the background there, Bob. We'll Bernard. Bernard. We'll give Bernard a big shout. Raise our Bernard. And he's giving the thumbs up, friends. <laughs> so, from me and Caelan, have you any, anybody to shout out to there, Caelan, before you go? Uh, any of our friends around the world are? No. Give them a razor then. Razor. Razor. <laughs> so for me and Caelan Dooley, friends, guess what? We're out of here. Razor.